Welcome, I'm Peter Carruthers. This video looks at simplifying the system.io business engine using a mind map as a skeleton. The mind map on your left is a visual representation of the website on the right hand side of the screen. The value of a mind map is that it exposes an entire system on a single page. In this case, that system is System.io. Back in 1974, the year before I was due to graduate from school and go to medical school, I was in trouble. My marks were dreadful. I'd been in hospital on and off for three years. Getting into medical school demanded much higher marks than I had achieved in my entire high school career. Instead of reaching 80%, the minimum needed to get into medical school, I was hovering around 50%. And if you didn't get above about 80%, you were out of the game. I bumped into a book by Tony Buzan. He made mind mapping popular back then. I loved the concept and I began going through five years of curricula, the entire school curriculum, using mind maps to map every textbook. This was before computers, of course. I passed my final exam a year later with high enough marks to get into medical school. If you want to explore mind mapping and its wonderful uses for learning fast, I have another video on YouTube. I'll put the link in the description below. Now, I'm a little hesitant about mixing genres. I really want to talk about system IO and how you can learn it fast. But for me, the fastest way to get into any new tool is to know exactly where everything is so that I never have to struggle to find out what to do next. This video will be a mix of discussion about mind mapping and system IO. If you find this style of learning as useful as I do, please comment below. And if you hate this style, please comment below as well. I read every comment and your comments will guide me on how to do this in future. On the left hand side, the map is a skeleton showing you what's behind the links on the right hand side. The map on the left is created in XMind but that's a personal choice because there are dozens of equivalent products. Almost every other mind mapping tool will do the same thing. The site on the right is the first page you will see when you use system IO. In the middle, I can move from one to the side to the other. And as I do this, you'll notice that the screen changes to reflect the same menu as is reflected on the left hand side over here. When you start out, Every tool looks pretty bland, kind of like a kitchen with lots of cupboards and drawers. These would be those. You know what tools are in there, more or less, like pots and pans and plates and food, dishcloth, soap. You just don't know where each item is. And it's the same with these tools. There are so many moving parts that they can group them together in different ways. In theory, it makes it much easier to get where you want. But in practice, it takes a long time to work out where everything is. For instance, this change in the dashboard over here caught me completely by surprise. It took me an hour to figure out that if I press there, the dashboard would come down on the right-hand side. Go figure. That mimics that once again. It's great if you're working on a small screen, but it's a little complex sometimes. So I'm going to try and use this structure to show you what's happening in this empty space and this empty space is what you will bump into when you first start. I'm not going to show you a fully populated course with a system with courses and everything else in it, because one, it's not realistic in the beginning. And two, there's a bunch of private information that's locked into that, emails and names and, and the like. And I don't want to have to go and wipe out large swathes of the screen when this is an easier way to get you started. When I start with a new product, I start with a map like this, which shows me where everything is until I'm used to it. It took about an hour and a half to build this map off this map. But once it was done, I had a whole bunch of advantages. Firstly, if I want to go to the main dashboard, I simply click there and it opens up the main dashboard in my browser of choice. If I want to go to the affiliate dashboard, under dashboards, we have a main dashboard, an affiliate dashboard, and a marketplace. 
There's even a student dashboard once you get started and you've got some courses under there. So if I'm going to go to the affiliate dashboard, I click over here. This system, this mind map, will work in exactly the same way on your version of this system. So if you want this map on this side, I'll give it to you in a PDF format. So it will work on any system without you needing any software. It will work the same way it does over here, which is where you click on this, it will open up the appropriate page in your installation of system.io. Doesn't matter what operating system you're using. So that's the backstory. Now let's get on with some of the good stuff. Before I show you where everything is, let's take a look at the free version, which is over here, which should actually be over there. If I click over here, you will see a screen which you will see when you join System.io. If you've already joined System.io, sit back for a couple of moments or go fetch some coffee. It won't be long. The key thing to understand is that this is a completely free system at its cheapest level. It's not a trial. It's not going to expire. They're not going to force you to upgrade. They'll encourage you to upgrade, but there's no force there. But it is fully functional and it works. For instance, included in the free package is three funnels. That's that thingy over there. Now, a funnel, a sales funnel, is what you would typically use when you were selling a product. And the funnel that you're seeing over here, which consists of this pop-up screen and the background images, the funnel that you're seeing over here is built in system.io. You can duplicate it. It's easy. Three funnels, one for maybe selling a course, one for getting people onto your email list. And your email list is allowed to have 2,000 contacts, which is better than pretty much anybody else. But here's the thing. You get unlimited email sending to those 2,000 contacts. Now, 2,000 contacts might sound like, whoa, that's a little. Here's the thing. I've been working with small business owners for about 30 years, and very few of them actually have 3,000 contacts, and even fewer of them are doing any email marketing. It's crazy. It's the, it is the best marketing style in the world online. You get to have one blog, and what they call a blog, I call a website. It doesn't have to be a blog. It can be a regular website. It's incredibly easy to set up. I find it much easier to work with than WordPress. And you can use your own domain name, or you can transfer your own domain name. You can have one course, which is important to me because that's what I do. I'm a trainer. I've got about 20 courses. One course, and wait for it, with unlimited students. Which means you can put up a free course for nothing. You can put your contacts in. You can start emailing them for free. You can get them into a sales funnel which sells your course and an unlimited number can buy at any price. You can price it at $10, $50, $997 and an unlimited number of people can buy without you paying these guys a cent. And I mean that. There are no transaction fees on those transactions. Try doing this with Thinkific or Teachable. You will also get your own affiliate program as part of that free deal. And that affiliate program allows you to have people sell on your behalf. So in my case, I've got a couple of clients who are involved in very specific communities where they have stature. It means that I could have them introduce my courses, small business courses, relevant to that group. They earn a commission. I get clients for a much lower price than I normally would. And finally, 24-7 email support. And they're not kidding. Their support is great, typically running at between three and four hours, even overnight. All you have to do is put in your email address there, click there, free forever, no credit card required. Now, I'm banking on the fact that you will want to upgrade it sooner rather than later. One of the offers that they have is they will do all of this migration for you. Ludicrously inexpensive. Free. That's pretty inexpensive. 
Contrast that with hundreds of hours of doing it myself or thousands of dollars spent on getting somebody on Fiverr to do the work. Your main dashboard is here. And I'm going to just pull this a little across here so it sticks out. The main dashboard is all about you. It's the sales that are coming through. It's the number of leads you've got, the number of sales that you've done. And you can change the date to reflect any period, all time, last month, this month, whatever. This next dashboard is your affiliate dashboard. Their affiliate program is built into this system. So the moment you're on the system, you can copy this link down here and attach it to any link that you send to a mate or to a client. And if they click on that link and they purchase this product, you will get a commission. That commission is currently 60% of anything that the Systeme team sell. That includes subscriptions on this product and courses. Then we have the marketplace, which is if you don't have products to sell and you have people to sell them to, you can go through all of these products to find products that might fit your, your community and you can sell them for a profit. And there's a student dashboard as well. I'll show you this, even though you might not see it in your initial version. These are courses that you've accessed, you've joined, courses that you're learning from, other people's courses that you've purchased. When we look at contacts, You've got, to go, you've got to know where to go. Now, this is not too difficult over here, but when we start looking at products where you've got three or four items there, that gets a whole lot more difficult. Contacts? Well, here's a contact. I've added myself as a contact. Let me add another contact quickly to show you how easy this is. And we will say, in fact, this guy's name is actually Test2. And his last name is Johnson. And he's going to be on my newsletter which is where we select a tag and I save it. I now have two people in the system. I could import them from my existing system over here. And I will discuss that later in the training, main training for the moment, not relevant. Let's have a look at tags. In Active Campaign and virtually every marketing system I've used, they have lists to whom you send newsletters and tags which control automation. A list and a tag are conceptually identical. They do different things in Active Campaign. Over here, you use a tag to put people into a list. So you can have a tag that is a list. And you can also have a tag which tells you the age of the person or the gender of the person or the country they live in. There's a whole range of different things that you can use tags for. Let's go and have a look at funnels. Well, here's the outside example of a funnel. This is a funnel which contains a pop-up, which contains a form, which means enter your email address. Behind the scenes, I'll close this. Behind the scenes is a regular web page, a beautiful web page that you can produce easily using this system. This is, in fact, a system. IO funnel anyway. I'm not going to show you how to create them at the moment. I just want to show you the structure and show you what's there. We'll get into the detail in the next few videos. Emails. By the way, this map, I don't know if you've noticed, but if I click on emails or if I click on newsletters, watch what happens to the screen. It automatically takes this instance of system.io, my version, and takes me to the exact page that I want to go to. If you want a copy of this map PDF format, it's yours. Just go down to the description below this video, click on the link. You will land on a funnel, which will ask for your email address, and I'll send it to you. It will work on your system, no matter what browser you're using, and no matter what operating system you're using. It just opens this link in whatever the default browser is. So we have newsletters. That's a once-off 
email to a group of people or a number of people. Once it's sent, it's archived. You can duplicate it to resend, but it's sent once. A campaign is a sequence of emails sent to the same people over a period. So for instance, if you're selling a course, when somebody joins the course, you want to pop them an email which says thank you. There are two or three ways of doing it. One of them is to put that first email as the first email in a campaign. And a couple of days later to pop out an email to say, have you started? And a couple of days later to pop out an email saying, when you finished the first lecture, what was your biggest problem? In other words, you can engage your, your clients. When somebody joins your list for the very first time, you can pop an email which says, hey, here's the PDF you asked for. Thank you. And a couple of days later, you can say, have you tested it? And a couple of days later, in other words, this could be as long as you want. This could be 50 or 100 emails in a sequence. And then you have statistics for these campaigns and for the newsletters. And this is just a, a sequence of graphs that you can go through that identify how many emails you've sent, how many people opened them, what the number of spam reports were, and how many of them bounced. Well, when we think of blogs, we think of something like WordPress. When system that I thinks of a blog, they think of a website. They have a blog set up that you can use, but they also have a perfectly good website set up that you can use with your own custom domain. That's all part of the free package. You're allowed one of those. On the unlimited package, which is where I am, you're allowed as many as you want. Then we have some automations. Automations over here are rules or workflows. A workflow is basically a more complex thing than a rule. So if I just quickly open this out over here, pull that back over there. If we look at a rule, it's an if then thing. If this happens, a tag is added, or they've registered for a webinar, or it's a new sale, or they've clicked an email link. If this happens, then do this. And that might be enroll them onto an email sequence, an email campaign. It might be send them an email. It might be send you an email to tell you to call them. The difference between a rule and a workflow, if this happens, and you've seen this before, tag added, tag removed, registered, enrolled, and this happens, another tag entered, etc., then you can make some decisions over here. You can depending on the, the information in a um, field, you can wait for a while, and then you can subscribe to campaign, unsubscribe, send an email. There's a whole range of these things that you can do. You can sell physical products. This could be things like t-shirts or whatever. Physical products are normally not delivered digitally. So the orders come into the orders frame over here. As you work on the orders and deliver them, you complete them on, in this box. We have a place for coupons. Coupons are discount coupons based on amount or percentage uh, that you might use, for example, just before Black Friday. Under courses, we've got three options. We've got courses, course bundles, and students. A course consists of a title, modules, lectures. That's it. The page editor that you use to create the course lectures is the same as the page editor you use to create the funnels, which is the same as the page editor you use in the email delivery section, which is the same as the editor you use in the website section. It does make it a whole lot easier to work with. I have a few courses that are designed for specific groups of people, and you can bundle them and sell them as one. And then we have a list of all the students that are enrolled in each one. You may remember me saying that the free version allows you unlimited sales. I have 10,000 students. Imagine if I sold 10,000 courses and didn't pay for the service. Personally, I think that would be abuse. I'm not going to touch on communities because I've never used them and I, I, I don't see a need in my particular case for them. Sales, you can see all of the transactions. You can see all of the subscriptions, if you have them. 
whether they're coming in or not. You can see the affiliate invoices that you must pay to your affiliates. And you have an affiliate program over here, which talks about commission structures and the products that you sell and the affiliates that you're working with. More about that later. We have three help sections, the help pages, the video tutorials and the customer support. So let's kind of look at the help pages. Search, and they've got a bunch of, of sections over here. Then we have video tutorials, which are pretty good, except I find them a little too fast for me. I tend to like things slowly. And a contact form when you are in trouble. So before submitting a request, ask here. Otherwise, fill this in. They're fast. Give them enough information, they're fast. And then finally, we have the settings. So the settings, which is clicking on this image over here, which is your image. These are your account settings. The plan that you're on, I'm ha on, on, on this particular demonstration product, I'm on the free plan. 2000 contacts is probably ample for most folk. If you haven't already, please subscribe. If you want a copy of the mind map, you'll find a link below. And if you haven't yet tried out Systeme, please use the link below as well. See you next time.